Okay, we're, going, we're here to talk about a project that we have been developing for almost one and a half year now, and it's called UDI Online Judge. UDI stands for Integrated Regional University, which is the name of the university we came from. Uh, my name is Nilo Tonin, I'm professor at the University of And my name is Joe, and I'm a fourth year and an undergraduate student at UDI. So uh, here's a short summary of our presentation. Uh, first, I was, uh, we will talk about how this project began, uh, began uh, what motivated its creation, present some of the features, the academic module, uh, some statistics, and the future of the project. One of the tools we use uh, at our university is Boca. It's an online contest administrator. Uh, it's used in the regionals in Brazil. So uh, we attempted to use this in class uh, by signing up all, all students and several problems for, for them to solve. That is to practice what they was taught, uh, what was taught in classroom. But we have a problem with this tool because it, it was not created to be used inside the classroom. It, it is used in competitions. So we could not rely on it to, uh, to that purpose. The other tool we use is UVA Online Judge. I can see a, a, a one from a t-shirt from UVA over there. It's a great tool. And uh, we used that tool in URI, but we have uh, some problems with that, despite of the great amount of problems that uh, uh, you have on your repository. The first thing is that uh, most students in Brazil, those who enter in college, doesn't understand English very well. So we needed to translate all of the problems from there for them to solve. And the second thing is uh, computer science course in our university is at night. So by the time the professor had explained the content and we were going to the lab to practice, the website was offline for maintenance because of the t different time zones. So we could not rely to use that tool inside the classroom as, as we wanted. All this motivated us to create a new online judge, a new tool that can be accessed in this address. Here is the main screen once you uh, access that address. You have some features of the website and uh, all the website and the problem repository is, is tra translated to Portuguese and English. Here, here we have some features. This page is very dynamic, it changes all the time. And the most important thing here is the progress of the user, the percentage of the, the problem repository that uh, he has solved. Here is the profile page with all the problems, the ranking position and the, sub the submission ID, the best one. And also we have included some gamification techniques, which are the badges uh, down here, uh, when, where we re reward users for submitting and for progressing on the, the environment. For example, we have uh, a badge for toolkit uh, that I will explain later, and several other badges to make it more fun. Here we have all the problems divided into eight uh, big categories, which help students to focus on what they are learning now. Uh, instead of just uh, browsing uh, throughout several problems and, uh, I don't know, beginner students, uh, when they uh, face difficult problems at the same time, they get sometimes very frustrated because it's out of their knowledge. So it, is easy, uh, it was easy, we thought, to create a, a specific topic, a beginner one where they can uh, solve very easy problems just to uh, get getting started. Here we have a category with the problems and also we uh, show the subject, which can be hidden in the user's profile page as a preference. You can see if the user solved it or not the problem over there. Here is a problem, uh, a sample of a problem. You can, uh, from here you can submit a problem, uh, check the problem ranking. 
uh, go to that specific topic on the forum and also use the toolkit. If you have also solved this problem, it will appear this little box over there with the best submission that you, you have sent. Here it is the rank page for, that, for one specific problem. It shows the fastest uh, the submissions with the slowest runtime. Here is uh, our forum. It's also divided. It's the same way as the web portal. Here is the toolkit where you can generate the correct output for any given input. So it helps user test their, their solution before submitting uh, their solution to the website. Here we have all the submissions uh, that a specific user have sent. Uh, the problem, the answer, the runtime, and the, the language that can be C++ and Java. We have the last submissions. This page is constantly updating to see uh, what user, other users are solving. So we can, I don't know, I will compete with that user. I will try to solve the same problem, the same problem as he. Also, if you click on one of those submission ID or on the answer, you will be redirected to this page where you can see more information about a specific submission. Uh, for example, this one received comp compilation error and uh, a description of the error and the line. We have also a statistic page where the user can see the progress over the, the years the years and the months he has been using the tool, uh, how many problems from each category he has solved, and um, two graphs, one related to the answers and the other to the languages. And finally, we have uh, the general rank with all the students from all the universities that use this tool. Okay. Uh, uh, the main goal of the Uruguayan Online Good Web Portal project was to create an online environment that we can be using in class and at home. Uh, but this great number of users was very difficult uh, to find each one. So it was necessary to create a new model uh, to track the progress of each student uh, and uh, group the day. Uh, this model is the model, model uh, academic. Okay? This is the main page of the academic model. So it's all integrated with the system and uh, that is there that we can create a, a discipline or group. You, you can invite your students or team members uh, after you can create homeworks or lists of exercise. And then you can check the progress of your students. Uh, here uh, is an example of a, a discipline created and uh, some related homework. You can create as many homeworks as you want, and the students of that discipline. Uh, here you have uh, uh, some detail of the homework, like the creation date, the deadline, and the problems that you have separated for that homework. And uh, finally, it's uh, uh, very easy to professor uh, to see all progress table of your students. Uh, here you can see the problem solved by them, the problem tried but not solved, and the, the problem even tried. Uh, so we needed to integrate the academic module to the, the main, main tool. So if the user uh, or student has an invitation and accept it, it will be able to see the group's menu over there mm -hmm. uh, with a list of all the disciplines or groups that he, was, he or she was invited. Clicking on one of those lists will redirect it to uh, the list of homeworks in that specific discipline. Clicking on one of those homeworks, uh, you see this page where you have some information about the discipline, uh, the homework, the same thing that professors uh, inputs in the system on the academic module, the deadline, some instructions. Here's just a sample text. <coughs> and you can also see the problems that you have to solve by that time. Also, if you have already solved it, uh, it will appear the run, uh, run ID and the rank position. By clicking on the run ID, you'll be able to see the solution that your uh, professor will be able to, to see as well. So you are going to give permission for him to check your solution to see if you have uh, really used those techniques and things that were explained in class. Well, uh, now we have the 428 problems, 181,000 simulations and a little more than 5,000 users <coughs> and 64 professors, uh, many in Brazil that are using our academic model. 
it seems a little bit uh, for us that uh, the first idea of the project was supposed to be used only in the university. It grew all over Brazil, South America, and so even some users from the other continents. So we were re really excited with the results. And some of the feature features is a mobile integration where uh, the users and students will be able to receive updates from the, the portal with new problems, with uh, new features available. Also, we, have a, we are going to have a content area, which we are just finishing, and I'll be able to run contests as, as well. And that's it. Thank you. Uh, the code does not run. It is blocked. And how does the system know not to run like uh, It runs on a sandbox, so <coughs> if there is any problem. Sandbox. Okay. <coughs> yeah, first of all, the command really looks nice. Um, really, yeah, the interface, I mean, also, I guess the design, but also kind of the, 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 kind of the way that you, the things you can see, I would say, really gives good, good features. But, um, so, I think two comments. So first of all, um, I was wondering, um, you're saying so students can actually input input that and then they get the output. Mm -hmm. So have you think thought about that if you have a problem which has limited a limited set of input data, they can basically brute force all possible inputs to all possible outputs, hard code it, and submit it. Yeah, but those problems doesn't have the <coughs> toolkit, for example, so they can they can try all the submissions. Okay. Uh, more general problems uh, have it, but really simple ones like adding two numbers, which is the first problem for anyone who's just starting, does not have the toolkit available. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't be fun. Yeah, and, and the other thing, just a simple question: uh, is this is this open source or is it available? Uh, for now, no. It's a project that's been developing over the university, so. For now, it's just. Are you thinking about it? Or Maybe, yeah. You're considering. Here, here from the uh, community, open source. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right? so consider it serious. Okay. <laughs> we would like to collaborate. Okay. Did you base it on any open source things? In other words, there's some testers and things out there that are in the open source. Sorry? Did you base any of it on the uh, open source software? We consider some of the things uh, to get the idea of some things over here and over there, and also uh, we have created a lot of new stuff that uh, isn't available in other things, but we are really considering about. Thank you. So what keeps you from open source, and are there any particular... Reasons? University policy, uh, actually. University policy? Yeah, yeah, we are trying to get through it. Kind of related question, who, who 